Bhopal Porn has faced threats from Cambodian elites, criticism for her reporting, and intimidation from anonymous sources. She's committed to journalism and has taken up some of the most controversial stories of the day. She says, I feel like if I stop being a journalist, I stop breathing. Please meet the woman whose enthusiasm is infectious, her courage is inspiring. I've so enjoyed getting to know her. Bopa Porn. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am so honored to be here today with you all. Thank for recognizing my work, and thank to IWMF for giving me this prestigious award. As you know that in Cambodia, my friends and relatives, they always ask me these questions. Why are you working as a journalist? It's such a risky job with such a low pay. And, and they tell me, uh, you can't always get another job with, you know, um, well paid, and you don't have to go out in the field at risk with your life being at risk. Well, <laughs> I cannot blame them for not understanding my work. I think it's very important to do my work. And um, you too, I'm sure, may be wondering why I'm still keep working on my job still doing this work. I tell you, <laughs> um, I feel that I have this great chance to serve my country, Cambodian people. I believe that I can make change in my country. I, can, I believe that I am young, and then I, I have this great opportunity to help improve democracy and press freedom in my country. Um, I, I also believe, strongly believe that one day Cambodia will be flooded with female reporters, like great, great female reporters. <laughs> to me, even if I can only be able to make 1% change, I am very happy, like very, very happy. <laughs> this award, I am sure, <laughs> also encourage other journalists particularly female reporters, to keep working on their press, and one day we all will enjoy the real freedom of expression. Ladies and gentlemen, this award will be on my mind, will be keep reminding me to work harder, working forward toward what I want, like the freedom of press, and we all can enjoy those. Also, this award will be remind me of how happy I am being a messenger between people, news and people. Though reporting the truth, as you know, it put me, my life at risk, but I believe that it's truth, it is worth reporting the truth if I can show all the real, what's, what's happening back home in my country. Um, showing people what's really happening back there it makes people wake up and start figuring out the way to change things from wrong to right. Corruption and rape in my country is still a big concern. As are censorship, cell censorship, and the lack of female reporters. In India, cases like corruption Cases went wild in national and international news. Back in Cambodia, cases like that happen so often that even me, I get tired of writing about it. <laughs> the world doesn't pay enough attention to Cambodia. That is the reason why I have to keep writing to grab all your attention, to pay more attention on Cambodia, so that you all can help us figure out our problems and have solved our problems. 
Barriers and difficulties, I believe, are happening in all walks of life, my life and your life. But the point is, we have to keep moving forward until we get to the point where we want to be. For me, it's be, I can enjoy freedom of press and freedom of expression. That is my goal. And being here, seeing people like you enjoying the press, freedom of expression, and everything here even inspires me more to work harder. I promise I work harder when I go back home. <laughs> Um, if we don't face any scary situation in life, and if I quit my job because I'm afraid, I'm sure I won't be able to do anything at all in my life, the rest of my life. I'm gonna be the loser all the time, the rest of my life. So the point is, keep going, that's it. Thanks a lot. <laughs>